Who's the engine that is coming to help us with the work in the shunting yard, Douglas? I don't know, Donald. Sir Topham Hatt said she's the only engine available. Is it Isabella? Or is it Balsheet's cousin, Mishti? <laughs> Mavis? Hello. You must be Donald and Douglas. Sir Topham had sent me here to help you with the work in the shunting yard. There must be some mistake. Bill and Ben told us that you and Charlie were their rescuer after they fought when playing freight car football. And found out that working in the quarry is fun for them to do. I don't think it's a good idea that we should listen to you when we work in the yard. We need to do what must be done. Otherwise, Sir Topham Hat will not be happy. Oh... Mavis is such a fuss pot, Douglas. You think? She's treating us like little engines. But we're not little engines. Well, the next time she tells us what to do, we'll do it the wrong way. <laughs> There are some cars you have to take, Douglas. Wait after Gordon passes by. Then you can take them away. Donald will stay with me. I'm not staying with you, Mavis. Douglas and I will take the cars together. <coughs> Out of the way! Express coming through! Look out! Mavis! We're really sorry that we wouldn't listen to you, Mavis. I should have waited for Gorn to pass by and take the cars myself. Oh, that's alright, Douglas. From now on, we can do it together, no matter what. One day, James was sent to collect a delivery from Brendam Docks and take it to the Sodor Park. When he got to the docks, he was surprised by what he saw. Oh! I am to take a statue of a lion to the Sodor Park? This is an easy job for me to do! James was coupled up to the flatbed. You should wait for Percy to come and be your back engine, James! The Lion of Sodor is very heavy! Nonsense! I've pulled some heavy and some light load and there's plenty of time! Why should I wait for Percy to come? I should get going! James! Oh, bother. That engine is gonna get into trouble. James thought about what he said back at Brendam Docks. I'll show them how fast I can be! 
I'll deliver the line of Sodor to the park, and I'll finish first. When he approached the hill, James started to speed up. Before he knew it, when coming down the hill, James was going as fast as a jet engine. Oh, jeez! He slipped through junctions, rattled around bends, and clattered through stations. Over the drawbridge, and Goofy yelled down Action Canyon. James shot past the station where Thomas was collecting passengers. James, slow down! I can't! James shot down the line. Whoa! Then there was trouble. Oh no! Sodor Park! Dead ahead! Ah! James bashed into the buffers. The Lion of Sodor flew through the air and landed in the lake. James opened his eyes. The Lion of Sodor was still in one piece. Oh, I'm so hopeless. I should have waited for Percy to come and be my back engine. I should have gone so fast. Sir Topham Hop will be cross with me. Well, at least the Lion of Sodor is safe. James was repaired in time for the opening of Sodor Park. He was very surprised to see the Lion of Sodor still standing in the lake. I never saw a lion in the lake before. Whoever would love the lion in the lake? I declare the Sodor Park open. With special applause for James making such a mistake with the Lion of Sodor. Though James was a bit pretty careless. Hooray for James's mistake! Oh! Poor James. All that shunting and bringing carts full of rocks from the quarry makes me feel tired. And, well, kind of a little dirty. I'm gonna need a wash down before taking my next passenger train. What the? What happened to the wash down? There's been a problem with the hose pipe, Thomas. The valve broke and we can't turn the water on. It will have to be removed and replaced with a new one. So Sir Topham Hatt had just announced that no engine shall have any washdown for today. Oh man! That's a bummer! I just got dirty from shunting cars in the yard and bringing rocks from the quarry. I need a washdown now and quick! My next passenger train is due at 2.15. Well, luckily, I just asked Sir Topham Hatt if Percy could fill in for you while he gets another engine to deliver the mail. And not only he said yes, but he also said that he has a special for you if you finish your usual jobs. You have to go to Burnham Docks to collect it. A special? For me? But I'm a little dirty. When will the washdown be repaired? I'm not sure. Depending on how long the new handle will arrive, Sir Topham Hatt had just sent Toby to collect it. Well... Okay, Edward, if you say so, I guess I'll just collect the special from the docks and bring it to wherever it's needed.
I'm here to collect the special. Where is it? And where does it need to go? It's in the siding over there, Thomas. Those freight cars are loaded with sugar. They need to go to Mr. Jolly's Chocolate Factory. Sugar? Mr. Jolly's Chocolate Factory? Wow! That's exciting! Whoa! That must be Mr. Jolly's Chocolate Factory! I better slow down and... Whoa! Why am I not slowing down or stopping? Oh no! This isn't good! Ah! Ow! Oh no! I'm covered in... Chocolate? Ah! My chocolate! It's ruined! Oh, sorry. Are you all right, Thomas? No. I mean, I am all right, but I couldn't stop for some reason and crash into Mr. Jolly's chocolate factory and ruined his chocolate. Those tracks looked like they need to be washed. Maybe some engine with a leaky tanker spilled oil on them. Please, Mr. Jolly. Thomas didn't mean to crash into your factory and ruin your chocolate. It was an accident. Oh, I see. Well then, I forgive you, Thomas, for ruining my chocolate. Thank you, Mr. Jolly. Since the washdown is still closed, the hose pipes won't be ready until the valve will be replaced with a new one. So maybe Victor will help wash all the chocolate off of you, Thomas. But what will Victor say if he saw me looking like this? <laughs> you look like a chocolate block on wheels, Thomas. <laughs> if Vanessa had seen you looking like that, I'd say she would think you look silly. <laughs> oh!